to Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Recommendations Spellcaster Check this list of card types Good cards Recommended cards Universal cards Here is a list of good cards 1. Spell Wall 2. Galaga Shield 3. Perform Age Hatricker 4. Ashic Magician Spell Wall Its effect Activate one of these effects. Your opponent takes no further damage this turn. A. During this turn, no summon of a spellcaster type monster can be negated, and when a spellcaster type monster is summoned, the opponent cannot activate card or effect. B. Count it one spellcaster you control. If it attacks this turn, your opponent cannot activate card or effect until the end of the damage step. Good point. 1. It allows the summon of your spellcaster type monsters to go through regardless of the state of your opponent's field and hand. 2. Battling your opponent is made safer simply by the fact you don't have to worry about any surprise effects catching you or not. Bad points. 1. Your opponent takes no damage the turn you use the card. 2. Negation of the spell still renders you vulnerable to the element from your opponent. 3. The fact the card isn't a quick play means it can only be activated on your turn. Agaga Shield. Its effect. Target one spellcaster type monster you control. Put this card to that target. Twice per turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Good point. 1. Your spellcaster type monster is safe from destruction twice. Bad point. 1. It can still be targeted. 2. Traps in Yu Gi Oh generally are slow unless they are hand traps like Red Reboot. Perform Age Hatrika. Its effect. If two or more monsters are on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that would inflict damage to you, you can place one Perform Age counter on this card, maximum three. Then make that effect damage to you zero. When the third Perform Age counter is placed on this card, the attack and defense become 3000. Good point. One, you can special summon it on your turn. 90% of the time, since the summon condition is easy to fulfill. 2. Added bonus of stopping effect damage if you have it on the field. Bad points. I don't think there is any bad points with this card. Akashic Magician. Its effect. If this card is link summoned, return all monsters this card points to to the hand. Once per turn, you can declare one card name Excavate from the top of your deck to the total link rating of the monsters co linked to this card. And if you excavated any copies of the declared card, add them to the hand. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Good point. 1. You can bounce a monster on summon. 2. You can add a card if you call the excavate correctly. And even if you don't, if the deck you're playing is a male deck, that's a free setup. Add point. 1. Can't deal with monsters that have targeting protection. Recommended cards. Spellbook of Knowledge. Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Harmonizing Magician. Spellbook of Wisdom. Spellbook of Knowledge. I'll showcase uses. Okay, now I'm going to showcase the usage of Spellbook of Knowledge that you see that spell card there. So we will ask the effect is that you send a spellcaster monster from your hand or field to the graveyard to draw two cards. So you will do just that, like so. As you can see there, with the menu seeks effect, when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add yourself an Altergeist card from your Altergeist monster from your deck to your hand. So we're going to add Multifaker, a DK in front of you. And this is one of the cards you can use in your Spelltaster type deck to increase your plays. That is all. Harmonizing Magician. I'll showcase its uses. The next card on the list is Secret Village of Spellcasters. Now with this effect, uh, neither player can activate spell cards unless you control spellcaster type monster. So you can see there, there's our field spell, we have Multifate, we have uh, Autogeist Theaters, you see there on the left hand side, and you see the trap card there, we have Magician's left hand, meaning that the first trap can be negated. And we have Altergeist Protocol right there. 
So yeah, so definitely be wary of Secret Village Spellcast. I'm very useful for you. It's spellcast you type deck to get that spell negation. Harmonizing Magician. I'll showcase its uses. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about Harmonizing Magician. As you've seen there, I've used Harmonizing Magician to, to special summon that Dragon Call Magician on the right, on the far right hand side. So remember, you can use uh, Harmonizing Magician to get yourself an extra Magician from your deck onto the field when it is Pendulum Summoned onto the field to increase your players. So yeah, remember about that. That is all. Spell Book of Wisdom. I'll showcase its uses. And here we have Spellbook of Wisdom, as you can see there, activating on Altergeist Hextia. So Spellbook of Wisdom's effect is that you can target one face-up spellcast on the field and choose one of the two following effects. It's either you choose it to be unaffected by other spells or other spell effects this turn, or you choose to or it to be unaffected by uh, any other trap effect this time. Uh, and that is essentially it, really. For that, that is all. Universal Cards Dark Magician Kashik Magician Spellbook of Knowledge Dark Magical Circle Perform Age Hacktica Eternal Soul Ib The World Chalice Meter Universal Cards Continue Four Mage Trick Clown, Four Mage Damage Juggler, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy, Secret Sanctuary of the Spellcasters, Star Pendulum Graph, Time Pendulum Graph. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu Gi Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide. To not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.